So we did talk about it a little bit before the show, just on the phone. Um, and I was kind of expressing my dislike for A-Rod, but I'm not sure exactly where it comes from. And I wanted to bring this up to you. Um, because you played baseball for I a did. bit, right? I did. So, wh- do you, as a person, do you like A Rod? So, I don't dislike A Rod. I, I like the Yankees. I've always liked the Yankees. Um, a Rod played for the Yankees for yes, a did. long time. Um, won a World Series with them, but probably on steroids. A lot of the disdain it. from A Rod comes from the steroid use. Yeah, and so I'm. It's. It can go one way or the other. Even like, there's, I'm sure there's players in hockey that you that you hate that other people love. Like Char, you probably hate Char, don't you? Uh, I don't really. There's the NHL players that I hate <laughs> are very random NHL, uh, okay. and I hate okay. them for funny reasons. But, <laughs> yeah, but that's where that comes in. I'm, I think, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. he got a lot of shit for the steroids. Well, because stuff. he got mm-hmm. caught twice right. didn't he so he's the other thing was the last time so near the end of his career he got suspended for it was 100 over it was like a full season basically or right. something like that and it was kind of like it was for something he it would that happened in the past too so it was like they i don't know it was just just kind of bullshit that they, politics yeah it was literally politics of that and yeah i don't know i think they should let Everybody use steroids in baseball. Me too. I because, think that would be awesome. Because people want to see think, the home run. I think also, I've yeah, actually made just, this have made Because this then it's like guys guys are going to do it anyways. Mm-hmm. So just let them do it and just let them play at a high level. And the thing with baseball is you still have to hit the ball. Which like, is a big steroid, problem in baseball yeah, right now. Right, yeah. You still right. have to hit the ball. Like there's been more yeah, it's, no it's question, hitters. Like, what's, what's the skill really there? It's the coordination in a lot of ways for like the when game you of say, baseball. And then when you say steroids too, a lot of people think anabolic steroids where you're just building and you're like freaking jacked. But like a lot of guys will get suspended for using steroids to, you know, heal from an injury. Yeah, like uh, recover. Medina Spirit. Yep. Yeah. Andy, Andy Pettit was like that, good Yankee pitcher. Medina Spirit is the horse that won the Kentucky Derby that has since not been really won the Kentucky the, Derby. The yeah, Kentucky because Derby title. This, that's but that's, that's, that's what I mean. The ste- that so the lo- so it wasn't that the steroids that were in the system are a banned substance. They're mm-hmm. banned. You can only have a certain level of mm-hmm. them because they reduce inflammation mm-hmm. in horses. So that his level was too high. Mm-hmm. Blah, blah blah. But I agree. This is a great conversation. I think that. All athletes I think they should. should be able to rip steroids. I think really, they in every, because, every league, whatever. Think it is. about how entertaining. Yeah. Like I think about the Olymp. I think about a guy like Lance Armstrong. Right. Like he was so good at that. I mean, and blood doping in, in cycling was always a huge issue. But that's a thing. I think all, that, all those every single person mm-hmm. in cycling was on steroids. Probably still is on mm-hmm. steroids. All we of them. all. This can't is write a, and this I don't is even, my thing. How long is the Tour de France? It's Fucking like, for it's, it's like hundreds of miles. <laughs> yeah, or something. It's, it's like insane. you. So you watch the you watch a lot of NBA games, right? Mm-hmm. Do you ever watch a G League game? No, exactly. Because it's you want to see, you want to see the, the sport G-League that you're watching. Is depressing for a you want to see reasons, the sport though. that you're watching played at the it, highest yeah, level, exactly. right? So, and I, I shouldn't actually say that I want to see it because I totally am also on the argument of the integrity of the sport. Mm-hmm. Like, guys should have to work to get there. Right. But there's just something about thinking, like thinking about the. So I kind of retract my statement. I think I got a little too horny towards steroids. <laughs> you got you got real yeah. aged up for steroids. Yeah, but um, <laughs> but there's something about thinking like we're watching these guys in, in all different sports, and they're so entertaining because of how good they are at what mm-hmm. they do. Now imagine if all of them were just like next level, like stronger and mm-hmm. faster, and able right. to recover better, and like. Because they it still have the insane. natural ability. I don't think they should be able to use them in football just because of how People brutal would get it is. Fucked just up. Be- well, because guys are already getting faster and stronger like without them, mm. and the human body can really only take so much. Like how how much do you think more do you think the human body could take? Like I, not these mo- guys. I mean, the average NFL like, career is like three. Yeah. Three seasons. Oh yeah. 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 It's because yeah. and like you would see great players. Uh, the flash in the pan because their bodies would break down so quickly, which is the downside of steroids. Mm-hmm, that is the downside. And this is I've all I don't know. I've always made this claim about Rob Gronkowski, and it's no oh, he offense was to Rob Gronkowski. He was a hundred percent juiced. He had to have taken more steroids than most. 
like than anybody ever should. <laughs> and the reason I say that, and this is why, like, I because he always like. I don't know exactly his entire career. I mean, I watched him when he played the Bills and stuff like that, and I know that he's from here. Mm-hmm. And But people often say he was should have been the greatest mm-hmm. tight end ever, mm-hmm. but he never was able to stay healthy enough to do it. Mm-hmm. And when you're that big, I mean, yeah, your body can break down just because you're mm-hmm. lugging all that weight around, but... Also, it's probably because you took too many steroids. That's probably why your body was breaking down. <laughs> so had he not taken those steroids, would he have been the f- kind of the freak athlete that he was? I mean, his ability should have been the same, but would his body have been the same? Mm-hmm. I don't know. But he probably would have been able to play a lot more consistently. Not that he's had a short career, but, I mean, well, half the time you... you... Well, you're retired briefly, yeah. so... Mm-hmm. Half the time you watch him, he's got double bionic arms Mm -hmm. like just trying to keep Mm -hmm. his limbs attached to his torso (laughs) like it's crazy so maybe yeah yeah. i don't think so he does seem like a guy who if someone came up to him like if it was a like from a young age and was like i'm sorry you know you got to do some steroids he'd be like yeah sure whatever you know no problem yeah if you look up meathead in the dictionary that he's like right there i mean he looks like a steroid yeah like i he looks like i've never seen a a syringe with his face on it yeah yeah that's interesting i hmm. so yeah i i don't i don't think that it if everybody's on steroids yeah. I honestly don't think that it cheapens the sport really at all. I mean, I'm they, more of a casual fan, but you usually I don't, hear that uh, when it's attached to baseball because baseball yeah. is very yeah. I think that baseball, nostalgic and classic, and that's, that's kind of the thing. appeal of the game is that it's right. tradition. Like that's what it goes with. Yeah, but uh, but kind of like you said, that's just not the way it is anymore. It's like you not. said, people want to see the home runs. Like people don't want to see you know Babe Ruth eat four hot dogs <laughs> with swinging the bat with yep. one fucking hand. That that's, dude was smoking cigars in the dugout. Well, and pictures, pictures, everybody yeah, was, man, that was wild. Are, yep. Drinking and, booze and well, every single every night. Sport. And I going, mean, you hear hockey, like right. old time mm-hmm. hockey yeah, players yeah. do interviews where they were smoking cigarettes yep. in the locker rooms yep. in between games. Mm-hmm. And think about how think about the level at which those athletes perform at now, Mm -hmm. imagine, like, they couldn't do that if they were smoking cigarettes. There's no no way. 